Star TV. That's what you think. have going in the background there. And watch this synth I'm still here again. Oh, that's Drone Sound TV. Never mind. Or is it? Oh. That, whoa, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, you know what that was? That was the LFO on the, uh, on the microphone. It was uh, self oscillating. Glasses across. <laughs> Hold on. I need those.
heads up, I'm back. This is the central scrutinizer. The white zone is for loading and unloading only. If you have to load or unload, go to the white zone. You'll love it. It's a way of life. Hi, it's me. I'm back. This is the central scrutinizer. It is my responsibility to inform you of the various potential dangers of everyday activities you might be performing that could eventually lead to the death penalty or affect your parents' credit rating. Okay. We're back in code mode here. All right, so I was talking about that noise. There was like an awful noise. I don't even know what it was. As I said, it, it um, you know, if Drone Sound TV selects many of these sounds based on how popular they are, for some bizarre reason, that awful sound was highly rated and was randomly selected. I'm trying to find it. What we're looking at now is the log in this terminal window. We're looking at the log of uh, things that it plays. I'm trying to find, um, it's just a little sci-fi mode. I'm trying to find what that sound was. So when we do, beeping and booping, is that now, that means I can record it. You see, so each of these entries has the uh, author's name there. One of those was just awful. Mm -hmm. We're going to find it and we're going to ban it. I have a command specifically for banning bad sounds. Construction backing up. That's it right there. Who recorded that? Hatchet Girl. Hatchet Girl? Anyways, so here's the offending sound right here. 207440. So anyways, part Part of Drone Sound TV's curation has been me banning terrible sounds like this. So I have a sound. So it matched, I don't know, one of the keywords in this mood. And since there are several million sounds on Freesound, the only way to reasonably accommodate this is uh, to counter that, is to have a list. How big is the panel? It's uh, 348 entries. Currently one of the problems with the ban list is uh, if a user does request a sound that's actually on the ban list, like for some reason they find 207440 on free sound, and they request it by name, which you can do, or um, by number, yeah. you would say draw on 207440. Don't say that because it won't work because it's on the ban list. And like I was saying, one of the uh, shortcomings of the current shortcomings, dang, we're going to use a I'm going to change the mood. You're watching me do it from the back end. I'm changing things. So we're going to switch to the quiet. Quiet one. It's super quiet. There's almost no sounds. It's like room tone and a little bit of static, I think. Anyways, if someone tries to play 207440, it just says it can't find it, which is incorrect. It's been banned, and what I was going to say is I can ban it by number, uh, or matter of fact, I'm going to look for that number. Find her again. Two zero seven four four zero. Okay, so we're going to use the correct command. So two zero seven four four zero, and there she is. Her name is Hatchet Girl. So I can ban Hatchet Girl completely because I've decided anybody who thinks that sound should have been committed to free sound does not belong. Okay, so 
so you saw me do this. You might be like, what the hell is going on there, right? Okay, so this is exactly what you get if you type in chat. Um, I have covered this previously, but I haven't really emphasized it much. There's a lot more going on here with uh, with the bot than you think. So if you type uh, mood, damn, I just accidentally changed the mood to relax. I wanted to change it to quiet. So I'm changing. Sorry about the backgrounds. Hold on a second. Hold on. Just one second. I'm not going to tell them to shut up. I'm just going to hold on. All right, I'm back. I just, I just told them, told them they shouldn't use any personal identifying speech because I have the mic open. Anyways, where were we? Mood, the mood command, all these commands. So I just ran it in the chat, and you'll see the output there. It tells us what the mood is, and I change it anyways. People in the chat see it, but people in the replays won't see it until YouTube implements that new feature where you can replay the chat. Trust me. So, um, let's see. So, all of these commands that you run in there are simply uh, commands. So, let's see what's in the commands directory. Here you go. See, these are all the commands that you know about. So, the cool thing is, um, basically, in the commands directory, all of these are either shell scripts or Perl scripts or Python scripts and here's the reason I'm doing it that way because these are uploaded from chat. Not actually from chat, it's kind of a misnomer. Actually you edit the file that you want, edit your new command on, I'll give you a very simple one here, here's one called uh, hi, I think it's called hello, there it is. It's a very simple command and it has a list of, well it's not as simple as it could be. Okay, well, it has a list of responses to hello in different languages. And it picks one at random and it spits it out. That's all it does. And whatever output the script has, this is when I run it, whatever output the script has gets returned back to chat by the bot. So it's automatic. Uh, oh, also it speaks it into the stream. So uh, whatever it is that comes out of it gets, uh, gets spit back out into, uh, into the chat. That's how the bot works. So that means that all the commands, again, we're going to look at those, uh, all the commands um, are just regular scripts with regular output, and whatever their regular output is becomes the output into chat. Anyways, you edit this on pastebin, and then you use a command which I have not yet put into the user manual and haven't exposed to users, but will be soon, to upload, uh, upload your new command uh, to your bot. And uh, there you have expanded the functionality of your bot without going anywhere and without leaving chat and uh, without having to bother anybody or having to really edit anything on the system. The entire system is implemented this way. It's configured from the chat. It's uh, everything except for the very most basic initial setup is all from the, all from outside. Basically, uh, text like uh, code and uh, list of keywords if you want to make a mood or other things like that. Uh, CSS layouts, yes. The layout is all HTML and CSS and users modify that by pastebin. So anything text comes from pastebin. Anything music comes from uh, SoundCloud. Anything sample comes from free sound. That is to say sound effects sample as opposed to music. And uh, that's, that's how that works. So I actually decided the command to upload commands um, from Pastebin. It's a weird sort of boot up process. So I decided the command um, to do that, to upload a new command from Pastebin. All of these commands have been uploaded from Pastebin. I, I've been, all of my writing has been on Pastebin. So I just edit the command on there and then upload it. And uh, that's all. They're really pretty simple. Um, some of these are links, uh, so they're sim links. So, one of the commands, for example, is the uh, command, command, not commands, command, commands. It's called commands, command. The commands command 
just gives you that listing, right? So it gives you a listing of the different files and the commands directory. You get how this is working? So, and, and I built it so that it can, I can build it from within the, the chat itself, from within the system itself. And so that users can expand it, you know, according to their own whims or whatever. I don't want to have to have them rely on me to add new features or whatever. So this way, if they can write a, a Python or a Perl or uh, shell script to do it, then they can upload it from chat. Now, constraints on these things and levels of privilege and world-based based access and security and all that kind of crap. Uh, you know, obviously, I mean, if you know anything about me, that's actually my, that's been my bread and butter for several decades. So that's what I do is security, but um, it doesn't mean it's impervious. So everything will be kind of boxed in where users have like Users can upload commands, but they'll only be able to access. I'm talking about end users, not just people who own the bot. I mean, your chat users can have their own commands. And they can share them with other users, but each of those commands will only be able to access those users' own stuff. So, like, you can upload uh, or identify a media um, file, which is actually what we're going to play with in a second here. But uh, every user will have their own media file, and they can upload, like, say upload a, a, a script that randomizes their media file, but it can only operate on their own media files. So uh, anyways, that's the idea. So there's a new command, brand new one, which hasn't been exposed. Beta, um, um, beta commands uh, start with a dot, and to use them you have to be a subscriber. And yes, the bot knows if you're a subscriber, and uh, I haven't covered that yet, but I want to do a separate video on the sub back bot, which is pretty cool. Um, the only one, as far as I know, that actually works and really does what it says. If you're out there and you're watching this, it does work. Just follow its instructions. It is 100% accurate. So if you have subscribed and your subscriptions are not set to private in your privacy settings in YouTube, then when you run the sub command, the bot will subscribe back to you. As far as I know, this is the only such bot um, anywhere, actually. Anywhere on any platform. The sub back doesn't work on Twitch yet, but it will very soon. It'll probably work on Facebook sooner. Anyway, so now we're uh, uh, going to talk about the new command, the beta command called media. This is the uh, beta command called media, and you can run it if you're a subscriber and you've run the sub command. You can run it from the chat, but the output will be the same. And uh, what it does is it changes um, the contents of this here file. Um, there it is. Um, you see, this is a, a URL. Oh, actually, this is a YouTube ID for a video. Um, let's go see that video. And uh, this is a pretty rhetorical exercise, because but you know what it is. Uh, there we go to YouTube.com, and we go to a plot. What is it called? How does that work? Oh, right, like that. Uh, I think that's you would think I would know because I spent a whole lot of time on YouTube. So you're seeing white in the background because I, I open a new tab in, uh, in Chrome and that is not the proper syntax. That's my old music here. Oh no, I accidentally clicked the YouTube with the iPhone ad. I didn't mean to do that. Is that, you know what, I have one of these weird trackpads. Do you guys hate trackpads or what? He's killing time, says the Red Queen. Because he is. Ah, how did I end up full screen? That's insane. Okay, uh, oh, it's, I forgot the watch parameter. It's like watch V equals. Anyways, I think I have that crap memorized all the time I spent on the YouTube APIs. So yeah, all this is done with YouTube APIs. And uh, hey, you're like, hey, we're just looking at that. No, we're not. I'll look at the URL. So that is the URL, and this is the. Uh, um, look at their chat. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Anyways, so, and this is the uh, ID of that um, stream. And they allow you to embed it as long as you give it attribution, which I do, and there'll be further attribution in the chat and creds elsewhere. Anyways, as you guys see, I do plenty of attribution. Um, you know what? As a matter of fact, speaking of attribution, New feature of the mix um, 
command is the uh, mix again syntax so it will replay the previous uh, previous track so we're going to listen again to uh, to uh, So we're gonna listen to uh, get to Fan over here. What's his his name's attribution? I was talking about attribution. It's gonna come up in the upper right hand corner over there. Do, do, do. And it's uh, I'll say who it is. There we go. Gorilla Grod. Again, you'll find him on SoundCloud at G U E R I L L A underscore G R O D. Gorilla Grod. It's called Hood Tales, but uh, it's got a hyphen and all the letters and I have to we'll just go to SoundCloud slash G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A underscore G-R-O-D Gorilla Grod that's who we're listening to anyways so back on this uh, sub media command I decided it changes the content of that file as you see it actually says that it is currently set to this that means yes if we use the media command to change that to a, another ID then uh it changes the background. Now there's actually a list of them that I've been keeping here. You see for another version of the um, media command will be to uh, uh, will be to do a random one, right? So um, so uh, you see there's another ID right here. There's a whole list of IDs. Um, now I'm going to show you a culture uh, trick. Oh yeah, next trick. See, so this is the command to spit out what we want, right? And I kind of like type that in or copy or put an environment variable or something like that, but I could do this too, right? So if I do, uh, let's just say we do this, right? And it looks like it does the same thing, but it's actually actually like that. Now, uh, it's because before if I was running the commands, I'd do media, remember? And it says if I pass it the name, but I'm going to pass it this instead, but with the ticks, it's going to run it, and it's going to pass the results to that. As a result, it ends up running that, right? So if you can be sure what was going on, so just put an echo in front, and you'll see what it would have done. So that's what it did. It ran the media command, and it gave it this right here. And uh, you'll see in the chat, let me get to the chat. You'll see in the chat it says, okay, I'm setting that as the media. It will appear as the theme. Or um, something like that. It says, it, you'll see it in the chat right there. Actually, I should read it for replay traffic. It says, uh, okay, setting what I just typed as the media where it appears will depend on the theme which is true because the themes are user configurable so i don't know what the media tags could be used for in this theme currently called the bay theme uh, because it, it started with monterey bay media and this one it's used as the background and it looks kind of funky and also it ends up stopping because the video is too short uh, so any any video from YouTube that can be embedded, uh, you can use uh, as a as an element on your theme. Um, as I say, users uh, users do all of this. Oh shit! I haven't shown that. Um, yeah, this new thing. See down at the bottom, uh, chat lobby. It shows people that have been active in the last five minutes, plus the bot, which is stuck there forever. And uh, you know, let me say mix random here so we get some music. So the random command plays a random track. I did it in the chat on my mobile device here. I just sit down the whole window there. And uh, actually, I'll see on the screen um, in a second. And these things are getting a little more sophisticated all the time. Um, God, you know what? I bet we get tagged for this one. This one has been misidentified as a, as a new eject command. I'm use it ASAP. Hold on. Uh, this one has been misidentified by YouTube as copyright content when it is in fact not copyright content, but whatever. YouTube, you and your bots. See down there in the, uh, in the, uh, over there. Yeah, there we go. All right, see over there where there's a little pop-up and <laughs> it shows my icon. That's a diastema monkey down the red hand right there. And it says what I said, a little pop-up bubble, which is kind of cool. So I've been working on that. And depending on the theme, the chat lobby might appear in different places or whatever. So um, I'm going to go actually back and set it to what it was. 
was before. Whatever the hell that was. What was it? Actually, the command back there should have told us. Now I want to hear that song. Unfortunately, we'll get in trouble. Trust me. You know, there's something I kept a note about it because I liked it so much. There we go. I ran the same thing we did before, remember? With the ticks? Remember? So I'm going to do commands. Normally you would do this from the chat. It's just easier because I don't have chat open on this box. Also, remember the reason it's so quiet is because we're set to the mood quiet. See? Up there in the corner on the screen. Um, I'll, normally I use relax as the mood that is most often is like kind of like wind and thunder, occasionally wind chimes and stuff. Maybe some birds, forest sounds, uh, low rumbles, room tones, stuff like that. Anyway, so you see we've changed the uh, the media to this uh, other one, to the Bay uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium live stream. That is actually a live stream from their aquarium, from the, um, uh, what are those called? Jellyfish. <laughs> Don't you get that down here. How long have I been on this show? This is becoming a long one. Uh, so, uh, did I cover all that? I think I covered that. Okay, I covered the media. This feature is going to be open to uh, all the users pretty soon. The uh, chat lobby works pretty good. Uh, and I'm just going to look for that to get cleaned up. I'm also making it so users can add um, to the playlist, so the random playlist, because it turns out it's a bit of pain in the butt for them to use the bot as a proxy search for SoundCloud, which I think is a bad idea anyways. But uh, they do like the convenience of uh, Mix Random. So if you just want to hear some music, just type Mix Random. Uh, but there aren't any specifiers in it yet, but you will be able to say Mix Random Lo-Fi so that you just get Lo-Fi or Mix Random Classical because there is a really weird eclectic mix of stuff here. All kinds of stuff. You type Mix Random, you really don't know, don't know what you're going to get. I mean, a minute ago, we just got like uh, indie music, right? And then we had Lo-Fi beats before that. Let's see what we get this time. And this is going to be my sign off for the show. Uh, if you're signed up for the, um, if you're one of the lurkers, thanks as always, Lurkers Power Channel. Oh, I love this one. This is EDK, I think. Shout out to EDK. This, dude, this is one of my favorite tracks that you ever did, I swear. It's, it's so haunting. And uh, I'm going to shut up and play it again after this, too. So we're going to hear it. It'll be up twice, don't worry about that. But this is EDK. It's called Is It Safe, I believe. You'll find them on SoundCloud. Go to SoundCloud.com. Search for EDK. That's uh, Edward Donna King, EDK. It doesn't stand for Edward Donna King. It just stands for EDK, man. So, anyway, I take this stuff. Alright, so this is Master Monkey signing off. Stay tuned, stay low. Out there. Is it safe? No, it's not safe. It's very dangerous. Be careful.
here, the air is all static, so the amplifier is static. The music is loud, the air is loud, and, you know, we're trying to settle things down a little bit. So the amplifier is aesthetic. The music is loud, the air is loud, and you know, we're trying to settle things down a little bit. Be careful. <laughs> 